Hello. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I decided to go live early because I want to wait another eight minutes to eat this. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, so hopefully the sound is a little better. I actually am wearing my headphones and kind of tried to adjust it because before it was only unidirectional. Now it should be omnidirectional. So you should hear me on whichever. And instead of me going in and out, it should be a little better. Um, yeah, so today I decided to do the curry ramen because I wanted to get curry udon and I didn't want to spend 20 plus dollars. And so this is what we got right here. And once again, we got the cat and I did pre bake. So look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. You can kind of see it. It's been sitting there for a little while. And I did not mix it up or anything. So I got these extra lights today, and they changed to different colors. They're actually, <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. There you go. Curry, cup noodle, just do white. Oh, no, we'll turn it off for now. Do we need it? OK, we're turning it off for now. But I thought I would try that out because it looks cool. So I guess first things first, I will do the, I'm going to change it up, kind of show the toppings a little. There's like these meats and these little crunchy deals. I don't really know what those are, like, but they're pretty good. And like already, like, it's like a little bit different than a regular ramen because it's based on curry, of course. I'm gonna try the uh, soup. And um, it's soup, but it is curry. So if you've never had Japanese curry, go to your local market to the Asian section and get a packet of golden curry and some potatoes and some carrots and onions, whatever you want to get. Uh, so I like doing red peppers or uh, the baby corn are good too, whatever you want to do. Did I say potato? Yeah. And then you can do beef or you can do pork or you can do chicken. And I actually don't know what kind of meat is in this. Um, and I'm honestly too lazy to care because it's delicious either way. Uh, yeah, so curry is delicious. It's this particular, I would say it's, it, don't get the mild. The mild is lame. Get the medium. It's not even that spicy. Honestly, medium is what a lot of people would consider mild anyways, where mild has basically no spice at all. So that's what I think. So we're going to go ahead and stir this up with the lovely stirring apparatus. The most efficient method. I'm losing a dumpling or something over here. I'm still going to eat it, though, because this table is clean. Still good. It's actually not as salty as I thought it would be. OK. I did actually try this forever ago, and I really liked it, but it's been probably months, if not over a year, since I've had one of these. I got it at the Asian market, and it's super good. So if you have a local Asian market, you might be able to get one, but they don't really sell these ones at the normal store, unfortunately. I think over time it gets a little thicker, which honestly I probably could have gotten away with putting slightly less water, which is funny because yesterday, or not yesterday, but last review I did, I didn't put enough water. But uh, here's what it looks like again. And there's like, I think there's carrots. And actually I think these things are supposed to be potatoes now that I'm, I think they're potatoes, yeah. 
Um, I think this is actually slightly different than the one that I had previously. Um, a little bit better. Like I said, no idea what kind of meat that is, but it tastes good. So, I can't recommend this one enough. This one's really good. And, um, yeah, really. I'm sure I could figure it out. It probably says on the package what it is. Um, but basically, there's still another one over here that is supposed to be better, the cheese curry. My Japanese friend said this is the best one out of the ones that she saw that she had tried before. Uh, but... I've never tried any of these other flavors except for this one. That's just the normal cup noodle, I think. As far as I can tell, it is. Um, normal cup noodles, okay. And, uh, but literally everything else is better than a regular cup noodle for the most part. Um, if this is like the original cup noodle, though, it's better than the chicken or the beef cup noodle. I'll say that. If you see the one that says original, it has like little shrimp and stuff in it, and it's definitely better than normal crappy, crappy American cup noodle. Um, I would say this one's probably like 9 out of 10, maybe 8.5. It might go down. I think it's going to go down after we try the cheese curry. I don't know. I don't really know what would push it over the top to be a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, it's hard to do that with this type of product, I guess. Um, I think the curry the, is really good. The spicy tonkatsu is still really high up there. And I would say... Out of the ones I have tried, spicy tonkatsu is pretty competitive with the curry one. And it's the yellow curry cup o noodle. Yeah, so this is curry cup noodle. So it's like Japanese curry, but it's cup noodle. Uh, but if it it's not like if you see yellow curry at the store then that usually ends up being indian curry as far as i'm aware which is totally different than japanese curry uh indian curry is okay but i prefer japanese curry and the 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 s and b basically any of the s and b curries are really good the vermont curry is really good the the golden curry is really good they have the ones that are cubes, which is the ones they sell at the normal Smiths or Kroger or Fry's, whatever one you have by you. Or I think they have it at Winco, almost any Asian section at a regular supermarket. Um, and then those are the cubes. But if you go to the Asian market, you can actually get curry with veg vegetables sauce, which is basically pre-made golden curry. Uh, and there's like a bunch of different kinds of that kind that's like the pre-made curry. But I really like that because I can um, just, you it, you either boil the packet or you take it out of the packet because it's metal and you can microwave it. And that was, I actually had that, I usually just put it on some rice, but I actually put it on some mashed potatoes the other day. That was actually really good too. Um, but yeah, if you see this one, get this one, really good. Um, I am going to have to try to find another spicy tonkatsu curry because that video did not get uploaded because I had some issues with that one. So I'm going to have to redo that one. Uh, I have done, let's see what I did. Spicy, cur uh, spicy, I think it's spicy hot pot with red chili, to be honest. I think that's what that one was. Uh, that was the first one I did. That one was pretty spicy. It was really good, but it was very, it was very spicy. Four out of five spicy. I did spicy tonkatsu, which doesn't have a video. I did the um, tomato chili, which was really not spicy, and it had like little chickens and tomatoes in it, and it was okay. It's better than a normal 
beef or chicken cup noodle, but honestly, it's not worth it. It's not that great. And I did, the last one I did was like a chicken, basil, olive oil. I don't know what the official name really is. It's on the video. Um, that one was pretty good. I would say that was better than the tomato one. Um, I think that's all the ones that I did. Other than other than um, this one I'm doing today. And this is a 10-pack, but when I checked last, it sold out. And it was kind of expensive, but if you live next to an Asian market, there's like a 90% chance you'll get the curry one, because that one's really popular. Uh, I don't know if you can get the other flavors I've tried. I haven't looked. But I just bought this pack, even though it was expensive, because they I basically paid $5 each for these, which is absurd. But... It was 10 different flavors I've never tried before except for this one and maybe that one. All the other ones were new. So I was just like, okay, well, I don't think they have all these at the Asian market. So I'm just going to spend the money to get this, to do the review videos for fun. And it's been fun. Uh, you can buy also these on Amazon if you just want like a 10-pack of these. They do sell them on Amazon as well. Um, let me see how much they are. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, because you basically can't buy one unless you get it at the Asian market. And this, your store is just better. Interesting. So there's actually... There's mini ones and there's regular ones. So there's a six pack and there's a ten count. But if you look... There's two different versions. There's this version that, that I have right here. But then there's like another version that has like a picture of what it looks like on the on the package. So I don't know if those are actually different or not. And then there's this one except mini. So for the mini ones, uh... I don't even see how many you get with the oh you get three of them for seventeen dollars. What a what a deal! That is not a good deal. That's a terrible deal. Um, wow the the cut the ten pack of this kind is forty two dollars, which I feel like there's people scalping it or something. Uh, I don't even see the price for the other one. I bet you right now. Oh, there's a big one you can get the big ones that are 4.19 ounces, which is like double the size of this one, I think. Yeah. Okay. So there is a different one. There's a 10 piece one for $26 that it has seafood, which is this one. And it has curry and it has regular for 26, which is not too bad. Um, I don't know. You would have to shop around to see. You could probably find a better deal. If you have an Asian market, just go there, and you can probably get this for, like, $3. So that's just kind of how it goes. <laughs> yeah, the cheese curry is supposed to be the best one. I'm saving that one for last, so I haven't um, tried that one. Yeah, so I really like this one. Out of all the ones I've tried, this one's my favorite, except the other one that is really competitive and really close was spicy tonkatsu that one's really good and i have to go to the asian market to find another one because there's my video got messed up so i have to find another one uh because i don't think i can get spicy tonkatsu i wonder if i can get a 10 pack of that one if i do end up getting if i have to get a 10 pack then i'll give you and you and uh Steven and Spawn of Jack, I can give you one of the spicy tonkatsu. But I don't I don't even see those. I don't even see that on here. I hope they have it at the Asian market that I just can't that I just don't that I'm just not able to find it. That would suck if I couldn't find it again. Um I really like this, and like I said, there's like potatoes and carrots and meat, and I mean, 
the noodle, the if you didn't hear, if you didn't watch my other videos, the cups themselves are much thicker and more sturdy. Like, I don't know if you've ever tried putting a fork inside of a normal cup noodle, like an American one, but it would totally just fall over if you tried to do that because they're so flimsy. Um, but yeah, these are good. I like them. This is, like I said, this is the best one so far. My friend CJ hates me because he said slurping is gross and it's rude, but it's actually the proper method for e eating ramen. It's the officially pr recognized proper Japanese method to eat ramen because when you pull the air into your mouth while slurping, it mixes the flavors and aerates it. <laughs> it's the official non-rude proper recognized japanese method but in america slurping is considered rude of course do you think my microphone sounds better than last time i feel like i fixed it so it's better so i think the only thing that i would change about this is it's it's a soup it is not actually like thick curry so like it's just normal soup and i wish it was thicker like because when i get the curry udon it's like legit just like curry sauce with udon noodles and katsu and um beef and vegetables and uh this is not better than that <laughs> but it's also much cheaper than that i mean if you can get it at the asian market yeah, so if you live in Utah, in northern Utah, so pretty much you guys that live up here can go to uh, this place called Ramen House. It's like spelt really weird. You can you can find it on Google Map on Google Maps. Uh, they have cur they have normal Japanese curry that has katsu as well as rice, or you can get the curry udon, which is what I recommend. Curry udon is really good. Me and Jesse made curry udon one time. Uh, he came over and we breaded the chicken with um, the what the heck the panko, and we deep fried it, and we we made the curry like we normally do. And I got some udon frozen udon noodles at the Asian market, and it was really good. Uh, the The restaurant still is better than mine, but I think we did pretty good considering uh, we had no idea what we were doing. I will say this feels like the texture of the soup is like ever so slightly thicker. Like it's like smoother than like the normal soup. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for today. We might do another one tomorrow. Uh, so right now we have miso, miso soup, which I don't like miso, so I'm probably going to hate that one, but we'll see seafood and we'll see if i like that how much i like that one either because i don't like fish that much but i do like shrimp and stuff so maybe it's fine maybe it's good and then this one is also shrimp but this one's like a spicy thai soup i guess it's called tom yum kyung or something like that sorry if i'm mispronouncing that but you could look on the listing it says what it's called and this is just regular cup noodle I don't even know if there's even a point of reviewing the cup, the regular one, but maybe, maybe it's different than I think it is. We'll do it anyways. We'll see how it is. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, top two regular curry and spicy tonkatsu. Hopefully I can find it again. Any other questions before I end the stream? We're actually slightly shorter than last time, but. We were very successful. We had lots of people this time. Um, and I'm probably going to stream on Twitch, playing games on there after this. So if you want to watch me stream some games, I'm probably going to do New Genesis. But I also will probably do something else. I've been wanting to do Starbound for a while, so I might 
probably not tonight, but maybe a different day, I might actually use my PC to stream, which I hate. But if it's what I have to do, I guess we'll do it. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe, all that nonsense. It's not like I'm making money or anything. I'm just eating ramen on the camera. Uh, have a good day and uh, good night.